Meteorologist Andy Provenzano has actually joined us tonight for our weekend forecast. I know people probably have Easter plans already set, yep. but maybe uh, Saturday could be it's time for spring cleaning or, you know, finally anything. get out there, right? Yeah, a lot of people are going to go in their yards for the first time and actually be able to throw fertilizer down, those kind of things. So look for a very busy mid-Michigan on Saturday, and that's the best weather, too. When we do have to be back indoors on Sunday, we're back to the rain. Take a look across the U.S. I want to show you the satellite picture, and you'll see there's uh, something going on out there to the west of us. Next system that's going to be coming our way. I wish I could say that it wasn't going to be here till Sunday night, but it is coming in tomorrow night. So the clear skies that we have now, we will start seeing some high cloudiness as we go through uh, the daytime tomorrow. We'll eventually even see ourselves with uh, thickening clouds towards the evening. And before you know it, there'll be some rain showers out of it, but it won't affect our Saturday. Our Saturday stays dry, so if you got plans on Saturday, you're doing just good. The high temperatures for today, look at those numbers in the 50s. 51 in Lansing, 52 in Jackson. We had a high of 50 yesterday, so we're on a roll. We should be even a little warmer than this for the daytime tomorrow because we're going to add a south wind with some of that sunshine. I think you can add about three, maybe four more degrees to some of these numbers. Our current numbers are still at 40 in Mason. Most of the readings are in the 30s. This is just like last night. We cooled down all the way to the mid-20s last night. Went from low to mid-20s to low to mid-50s. So the sun's warm. It can do its trick once it gets out there, and it should do that again. There's not much in the way of cloud cover right now. If you're watching the, west, uh, the left side of your screen, some high clouds. It's still going to be running into this massive high pressure, which is very dry air over us. So even though you see the clouds there as it starts to come this direction, they'll tend to dry up and dry up until the atmosphere gets saturated enough late in the day tomorrow that the clouds eventually will win out. Our temperatures are below freezing just to the northwest. A little bit of snow cover up there helping out. No major chill. It's really a map. All these maps are what they're supposed to be this time of year, right on target. As you look over the weekend, we've got clear skies. We go into the morning hours with a mostly sunny, maybe just a high veil of clouds through the first half of the day. Now, as we get towards the afternoon, we're going to be watching a cold front. That goes through Wisconsin at 5 o'clock. For us, we'll start to be thickening up our clouds. And depending on how fast that happens, we could even shoot into the mid to upper 50s. If the clouds could hold back till later in the day, get a little strong south wind going, we might be able to get to that 57, 58. But in general, low 50s to mid 50s isn't too bad for this time of year. Now, what about the rain? It comes in overnight, so when you wake up and heading out to church or wherever you're going, over to grandma's, you'll find yourself in the showers through the first half of the day. By lunchtime, I think it moves out. There's even going to be a little thinning in the afternoon to see some peaks at the sun. But it won't be in the 50s, upper 40s to start the day and we'll be cooling down in the evening quite rapidly. There is a cold front by 7 o'clock. It'll be stuck to the north, but this comes southward overnight. It's going to really increase that north wind, and by the time this holiday weekend is over, we'll go to work or school on Monday. Uh, some people not going to school, but you'll find yourself in snow showers. Yeah, we're going back to that winter type of flow. The flow here has been out of the west, and that's what's been warming us up here nicely the last few days. But you notice how that cold pool of air, we've seen this so many times through winter that that cold air gets pushed to the north and just does a loop and comes right back down again. That comes barreling in Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday and drops our temperatures back to the mid-30s with snow showers on Monday. So it's almost a 20-degree temperature uh, fall through that uh, time frame. So tonight we're fine, 28 to maybe as cool as 25, starting out with some great skies in through the first half of the day, but they'll be on the increase by evening. Your high temperature right around 55 degrees, and you can thank a south wind between 10 and 20 miles an hour. So if you're doing yard work, you might have to put the rake on the leaf bag because it's going to be blowing around a little bit. Sunday, there's the rain showers. That's mainly the first half of the day, a little sun peeking through the afternoon. Monday, snow showers from the get-go to the evening hours, from the time you wake up to the time you go back to bed. The uh, Monday doesn't look so good. Tuesday tries to improve, but still chilly. Wednesday's 43, 50 on Thursday with some clouds late in the day. And finally by Friday, we're back to normal again, 52 with sunshine. So the uh, start of the week will not be the same as the end of the week, which we went 16 days with below normal highs. This will not be that long of a stretch, so we'll snap out of it. But Monday, Tuesday, very chilly days. I finally thought it was time to put away my coat today. I didn't wear it, and now I think I have to get it back I out. You know, I forgot mine. I didn't even bring it, so I'm going to go home tonight in the, in the chill. Oh, yeah. well, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> all right, thanks, Andy. Your state news coming up after the break. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10.